It was seven months ago the Revere dock collapsed, spilling contaminated soil into the Detroit River. Well, tonight, the defenders are uncovering the long list of violations that still persist at the site. Today is the site. To, this is the site today, as I should say. Uh, there is still a ponded area there. The seawall has not been repaired, and there are other concerning issues that the defenders discovered. So where do things stand on fixing this slew of problems at the site? Defender Karen Drew set out today looking for answers. Karen. We are outside of Revere Dock. So behind me is where the dock collapsed. That huge hole formed some seven months ago. We came back here to see what progress has been made in terms of fixing the mess and found out the company is still operating without a certificate of compliance. This is what the land along the riverfront looked like after the dock collapse. A green ponded area formed. The defenders exposed a huge pile of aggregate that was not allowed to be on the property. The company was cited, fined. Eventually, the case went to court, and in early May, Revere Dock agreed to fix the situation. And that agreement gave them 45 days to do a lot of the things that need to get done. Uh, and that 45 days hasn't quite run. So uh, we'll be impatient and aggravated if we're having the same conversation 10 days from now. But as it stands right now, we're still hopeful that these folks are going to make the deadline. The local four defenders flew our drone today to see what progress has been made. You can see that aggregate is gone, but there are still other concerns that are not fixed. According to the city of Detroit, Revere Dock still needs to obtain a certificate of compliance, pay over $4,000 in inspection fees, obtain the right permits and certifications, and remove all bulk storage until they are permitted to keep that storage on site. They have done some of the things that, that need to get done. So I give them a, a little bit of slack because of COVID and a little bit of um, credit for some of the things that they have done, but um, there's still a lot to do. During a recent virtual public hearing, residents spoke up about their concerns. This timeline has gone pretty long. Um, this company has acted um, in the past as a bad actor, and I'm hoping that there will be adequate penalty. Revere Dog has presented a restoration plan, which Eagle is considering, but no decision has been made. Revere Dock stating if their plan is approved, it would take about six months to complete. Meantime, the city of Detroit tells the defenders Revere Dock, who owns the land, made a settlement and paid $63,000 to resolve all outstanding citations. Detroit Bulk Storage, who leases the land, still owes the city $62,790. I posted the Revere Dock restoration plan on our website for you to check out. And of course, I'll be staying on top of this story. Reporting along the riverfront, I'm Karen Drew, Local 4 Defenders. A public comment period is open until June 26. Then Eagle will review those comments as it proceeds toward a decision on whether to approve, uh, approve with changes or just outright deny the permit application.